hurt me. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I, I, I'll, I'll come in and call help. I'll get, I'll get help. You'll never get over me. Stop him. He's dead. The linen closet, I'll get something to cover him up. We shouldn't touch anything. We won't. Maxie, come on. We need to call the police. Oh, there's plenty of time for that. Look, first you need to tell me exactly what happened. Maxie, oh my God, are you are you okay? Did Logan break me? No. But he would have. I know I saw. Thank God my dad is not here. He would be so disappointed in me. Spencer's just supposed to have a clear head, and I couldn't think straight. I was just so panicked, and I did everything wrong. And if I had gotten out, Logan wouldn't be dead right now. Okay, you need to tell me everything. Starting with when Logan came to the kids' office. Logan showed up and tried making this desperate attempt to get back together with Lou. He was acting like they had this great love that I had trashed. And at first I thought it was just typical Logan trying to rewrite history, making himself the victim. But I realized he really believed what he was saying. I handled it all wrong. I told him that I was glad he slept with Maxie because it made me run away and I met you. That only set Logan off even more. I told him that I would call security, so we split. But he must have waited around until Lulu and Kate left because he came back for me. At that point, I realized the Logan that I knew was completely gone. His eyes were blank. I kept thinking maybe that's what he looked like when he was at war. Anyway, um, I fought back as hard as I could, but he just, he grabbed me and threw me to the ground. That's what I saw. I was, I came here to find you and I was waiting and I heard fireworks outside. And so I went outside and then my eyes went to Kate's window and I saw Maxie get thrown across the desk and Logan was standing over her. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't even believe it. I, I couldn't even think. And then he looked up and he saw me. I knew, I knew that he had. So I ran in here to call 911 and my phone rang in my hands. It was Logan. He said he wanted me to stay here so that he could explain. And I, I should have run out. I should have left. I know that. I tried. And when I got into the hall, Logan was there. We need to call Mac. We need to deal with this. Okay, will, but I need to hear everything else. Look, I know that... Logan broke through the door. What happened that made you stab him? I, um, I had my cell in my hand and I tried to call Kate's office to see if Maxie was okay. God, I'm so stupid. Just tell me what happened next. Uh, um, Logan was knocking on the door. He was saying I need to let him in so he could explain. And then he started to hit the door with an axe so I, I ran in the kitchen I got a knife and then he broke through I, I hid as soon as he cleared the door I tried to run for it but he grabbed me in and everything is it's a it's a blur just trying to remember I don't really want to I need to know how to protect you. um I tried to tuck him down I I um I even lied and I said that I missed him and he kissed me and he knew that I was lying so he lost it and, and, and he grabbed me and I grabbed the knife or I had the knife, I don't, I don't know, it just happened so fast and then, and then he collapsed and the, the knife was in his stomach and the last thing he ever said to me was that I'll never get over him like he was cursing me. I'm so sorry, Lulu. I know how terrified you must have been. You think Mac will believe her story? Yeah, but Scott Baldwin won't. Lulu, 
Lulu already put Logan in the hospital once. She cracked his skull with a pipe wrench. Remember, Scott Baldwin wanted to charge her for attempted murder then. Logan woke up and he explained everything. That's what throws me. How could he be someone who was so sweet and, and compassionate and then turn into somebody capable of such mindless rage? And Baldwin's not going to understand that either. I agree with what Maxie's saying. Technically, Logan was unarmed. You have no cuts or bruises. There's no evidence that Logan attacked you. But the door. We can't prove Logan did that. We can't even prove he's the one who attacked me. This whole thing could look like a setup. What are you saying? She's saying that Baldwin could build a case against you for murder. I swear I did not kill Logan on purpose. I know. It's just going to be difficult to prove. That's why we need to find another way to handle this. What other way? <sighs> no cops. We dump the body, destroying the evidence. Logan had a lot of enemies. No one's gonna jump no, to no, you. No, 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 we cannot do that. Oh, come on, Lulu. Now is not the time to be all moralistic, okay? Think about it. You are Laura's daughter with Luke, living proof that Scott lost the woman he loves to the man he hates. Hurting you is like hurting your dad. Not to mention, Scott's gonna have a really hard time figuring out why you stuck around here when you could have just run away. I panicked, okay? No one's blaming you, Max. He's just being realistic. The best thing to do at this point is cover it up. Will you trust me? It must have been some party. I died. Logan Hayes. I killed him. <laughs>